And now, first worn five weather. 644 this morning and the biggest development. If you're just now waking up the drizzle, it's over with and we know that because our visibilities are very good right now. Maximum visibility is 10 miles and that's what we're seeing in most spots. So we're not going to be dealing with that drizzle there. It's a little bit reduced in Port Isabel was ago, but that's insignificant. That's just a touch of haze, if anything. Uh, and the roads have been drying out since 2 a.m. The drizzle ended about 2 a.m. Here's the loop. Over the last 12 hours, it was pretty nasty out there. It was pretty widespread, nasty conditions. It was cold, but we have dried out. Now, it is still cloudy. We haven't seen the clouds break up just yet, but if we zoom out just to our north, this is where the clearing line actually is. The satellite just not picking up on the really low-level clouds that are still in place over us right now. But it won't be long before we finally, finally see the sun just in time for sunrise as it works out. Here we are at 7 a.m. And again, we'll have mostly to partly cloudy skies at that point, and then things are going to improve rapidly. Uh, by the time we get to 10 a.m., it's going to be mostly sunny. Just a few clouds out there, and then uh, early this afternoon, clear skies. Yes, we're going to see lots of blue skies. Uh, an incredible sight after nine days in a row with cloudy skies. We haven't seen the sun since Christmas Eve. Uh, it's very unusual that we have that many cloudy days in a row, and fortunately, we're going to be seeing a lot more of the sun. But the thing is, with clear skies this evening, and they stay clear overnight, early tomorrow morning, temperatures are going to be in the upper 20s. This is going to be our coldest night yet. Now, the wind chills aren't going to be as bad. The winds will be very light. That's part of the reason why we're getting so cold. Uh, but regardless, temperatures in the upper 20s, that's exceptional cold for the valley. So you're still going to want to bundle up for one more morning. Now, with mostly sunny skies tomorrow afternoon, we will see temperatures actually get into the low 60s. However, during the evening and overnight hours, probably by about, about midnight Friday, again, this is late Thursday night, we're going to have overcast skies again. That said, I don't think we're going to see any rain or any precipitation. It's just going to get cloudy and be mostly cloudy on Friday, and that will limit our warm-up some, but not too much. Today is still going to be a cold day, better than yesterday. There is some improvement just because we have the sun, but not a lot. And with those breezy conditions, still some gusts up to 25 miles per hour. It's only going to feel like the mid 40s. So yeah, definitely keep the jacket on all day long, even though we will be enjoying some sunshine. Now tonight, with clear skies and those winds getting light, temperatures are going to fall to around 29. Just about everyone will see temperatures at freezing or actually below freezing. Many are going to end up being below freezing, and that is near record territory for this time of year. Uh, again, there's some places where the record lows are 30 degrees, so I think in some spots we will set new record lows tomorrow morning, and that tells you how exceptional the cold is. And so once again, as we've been saying, you still have to take those preparations for one more night. Prepare for a freeze for one more night. Cover the plants, pillowcases, bed sheets, wrap those exposed pipes. Be sure to wear the hats and gloves yet again for early tomorrow morning and bring the pets inside. Or if they do have to stay outside, make sure they have some type of shelter to get in some extra blankets. The good news is we'll be done after tomorrow morning because notice that low Friday morning, still cold, but not at freezing. There is definite improvement. Mid 60s on Friday after low 60s on Thursday, and we keep warming up from there. Low 70s on Saturday. That's looking like a very nice day and really Sunday. Nice too. It'll be on the windy side, but it's going to be a warm breeze up to 78. A little cold front comes in and again, a little one. Nothing like the last one because it only cools us down to the mid 70s on Monday, low 70s on Tuesday. And notice a lot of sun in the forecast and no chance of rain over the next seven days.